So if you're not on BookTok already, get onto it. All right, let's go tackle upstairs. I'm just gonna put music on, I'm just gonna get through it because I have to. I just feel agitated right now. I'm sick, I'm over it. I need to get a license, like I feel like I'm a kid. Oh my God, I actually broke that. Oh no, I didn't. I needed to vomit, I was gagging because I had phlegm come up. With the beep, beep. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm sick at the moment, so hopefully I get better over the next couple of days. But this is my first vlog back in a minute. Months. Like proper full weekly vlog vibes. So we'll see how that goes. The dogs are currently outside looking in like they're freezing, but they're not because well maybe Hobbs is. No, she, he's she, not shaking. No, I think both of them are fine. Yeah, they're comfortable. I got big coats on. Hobbs doesn't have a big coat. Yeah, <laughs> Last couple of weeks, I know you guys would have seen my life update video, or if you haven't, go watch it. But the last couple of weeks have been pretty crazy. Coming from really warm weather to cold weather, I've caught a cold. I'm just congested, like I can feel it in the back of my throat. Tell them that I found $200 in my jean jacket. Literally, we are in the process of putting all our clothes. <laughs> <laughs> And Steve put on a jean jacket the other day, which we don't call them jean jackets, sweetheart. We call them denim, denim jackets. Denim jackets. And we're going to Vegas, we're going to put it on black. He put it on and he literally looked into his pocket and pulled out $210. $210, for $210 which he should honestly be putting in the swear jar because he's been feral in Australia. What the f are you talking about, you little Oh, that really wasn't swearing. I was going to put beeps in there. Like, oh. With the beep. <laughs> with the beep. Dogs, get beep. your... Beep in here. Steve literally takes it on every day to clean up the poo. Go, Lulu, go. Come on. Come on. I needed to vomit. I was gagging because I had phlegm come up. Like, if you're looking for a more realistic vlog, you will find it nowhere else. Guys, we did get our lawn aerated, so it looks like <laughs> that's not poo. Paper. That's just lawn aeration. You guys probably don't do that in Australia. I don't know what it is. It's just aerating your lawn in the winter time so it comes back healthier. So you just like this huh? dark. <laughs> uh, just marshmallow. Thinking, thinking <laughs> <coughs> Welcome back to the vlog. It's Monday, 27th of February, 2023. Tomorrow's the last day of the month. Weirds me out every time. Oh my god, I actually broke that. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, thank oh that does not look good. It is 5.08 p.m. and we have been at the gym since you guys saw us get here this morning at like 10 a.m. So we've had a massive day in at the office, but we're about to sit down right up on the board. Steve and I. Steve and I. Steve and I are about to write up on the board what March is gonna look like for us. So that's what we're gonna do. We had my betters for lunch and I ordered it and the lady didn't know what I was saying. So when I got round to the pickup area, she gave me the wrong meal. And then I was like, oh, I just ordered this instead. Um, and she gave me one meal instead of two. So I said, I actually ordered for two, but um, I'm not sure if you put it through, like if I'd paid for it. Anyway, they gave us two meals and didn't charge me anything else, which is just wild. Cause in America, it's just, just a wild place. <laughs> if something it. gets screwed up just a little bit, something that's not even a big convenience, like something that I'm just like, yeah, hey, I, I got one meal instead of two. They're like, oh, we'll just give you the second one free. It is wild. Anyway, we're gonna map out March. Let's do that. Hey, it is, what time is it? Literally just got home, 7.57 p.m. We started work at the office at 10 a.m. We are now home at 7.57. That's a 10 hour day. Love that for a Monday. Monday's always just whack. Anyway, got home. There is a Gymshark parcel here. 
So let's open it. There's actually a few new releases coming, which is really exciting. Oh, oh, this is the big restock. So because I was moving here, I was only able, like technically I bought two, three suitcases over. I was only able to fit so much in. So I actually almost filled up a whole suitcase with Gymshark stuff. But majority of them were not winter things. Like I never really got winter stuff in Australia from Gymshark because it didn't make sense. Like we would literally have a winter for like a couple of weeks. And that winter's like 15 degrees, not two. So I've actually asked them to just send me over a little package of some winter stuff. So I guess they went and picked out some random winter stuff for me. And this is what we got. Oh, this is sick. This is a massive bag. This is like a proper overnight bag. Like, imagine me rocking up to the gym with this bag. Okay, this, yes, I've seen everyone wear it. This is perfect for me right now. Love. The black version, perfect. Oh, this is a towel, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is actually a really soft towel. I'm gonna put that in that gym bag. Yes. Yes. I actually love this color. Yay! Just jumpers, like this is what I need. I literally have like a couple of pairs of leggings at, for Gymshark at the moment. Like just faves that I took. I'm a basic gal. I don't know if you guys have realized this or not, but I'm a basic gal. Like look at my outfit for today. Funnily enough, this is actually a Gymshark, like a really old Gymshark one piece. Ribbed, stunning, like I don't know why they don't do it anymore. With one of my Gymshark tees that I got in London at the London store, over the top, and just some trackies. Like that's my fit for today. And I loved it, so comfy, so warm. Honestly, there's not much more that I love than a long sleeve tee. Like just an oversized long sleeve, long sleeve tee. These are cute as well. I'm definitely gonna need to wear a sports bra underneath it though, because my nips will be hanging out like crazy. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday, isn't it? We are running some errands because your girl's gonna get a driver's license today. And that means I can stop playing taxi. My Utah driver's Uber, license. I'm a Obviously I've been driving for 10 years now, but that doesn't count for nothing. Counts for something in my book, babe. Ooh, whose Eurus is that? I literally can't even set this up right now because I'm so, everything is so tight on me. Fit of today, I've got rollers jeans on, but they're freshies. And damn, I need to wear into these jeans. Like they need to stretch a little because they ain't giving me nothing. And then I've got the Gymshark. I can't really remember what it's called. It's a really nice t-shirt. Gymshark jumper, Gymshark shirt, and then big coat. I actually can't remember where I got this from. Yeah, so update on this morning. Just did stuff around the house. Steve was doing a whole heap of insurance stuff. And then your girl got her social security number. So we are going to go get my driver's license. I'm not gonna show you my social security number because it's pretty damn important, apparently. But this is it. This is my card. You can just see it there, social Security. That basically just means I can work here. <laughs> Lol. We need to stop at home and I need to get my birth certificate. I'm actually so lucky that I actually brought my birth certificate with me because I wouldn't have remembered if it wasn't in my filing system that I took. And I've got it, it's at home. So I'm going to, I need to put some hand cream on. Like my hands are so dry. Everything's dry here. I gotta do like a sit down written assessment for this driver's license, never heard of that. I need to do an eyesight test, never done that for a driver's license test. And then I have to do a physical driving test, which we are gonna go pick up my car for. I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram, but Steve, I say my car, but it's not in Steve's car. Steve purchased a car that I am using for the next couple months just as an investment piece, because we have a friend who works as a dealership owner and he got us onto one of the dealership auctions and we got this car for way cheaper than what it's actually worth. So 
we bought it knowing that it has like an instant increase in price of what we can earn on it so we're going to hold it for literally like a month or two and then we're going to sell it but till then you girls driving it and it is literally my dream car it is a dark like a foresty green g-wagon with leather tan interior and it is just like the most beautiful thing on this earth that has four wheels and, a, and an engine. But I'm just appreciative that I get to experience it. That'll be that. Once that goes, like once we sell that, then we'll be looking for a car that I can actually keep. Anyway, I'm just blabbering on, wow. Okay, I'm gonna just stop the video. I just feel agitated right now. I'm sick, I'm over it. I need to get a license. Like I feel like I'm a kid. Let's just, let's just talk about that for a second. I literally feel like I'm a kid every time I need to go somewhere I have to ask Steve to drive me because right now if I drive in the US I can drive in the US I can drive perfectly fine and I already have driven multiple times but it could be as simple as someone crashing into me and we are screwed because no insurance unless it's a car rental insurance covers drivers from international countries who don't hold a US driver's license permit. So until I get my driver's license, every time I go out in the car is just, it's iffy. It's super iffy and I'd rather not take that chance because I'm definitely not forking out the amount of money it costs for Steve's car. <coughs> Or the one that he just purchased. Yeah, I just feel like a kid. Like, literally every time I have to go somewhere. Or every time I have to get something. Or any time I want to go and just pick up something from the grocery store. Or who knows? Like, get go see the doctor because I've got a fluey cold. I have to get Steve to take me. And it's just irritating. Anyway, I'm going to keep... I'm going to read because it's just going to chill me out a bit. But I will show you guys when we pick up the car because it's... Mm, delicioso good morning good morning it's wednesday march 1st we're in the g plan for today we're gonna go get a smoothie we need to go over videographer submissions yes we have a couple of submissions for a videographer which is really exciting because there's actually a lot of talent that have come through like it, it really will just come down to who's fitted best for us because a lot of people coming in with a lot of like qualifications and past yeah. experience. I'm also going to train today, which is my first day back training, probably in like a week. Yeah, at least yeah. since you've been over a week before LA. <clears throat> yeah, um, I haven't trained because I've obviously been feeling like shit, but I'm excited to get moving today. And then uh, I've got emails and some programming to do tonight. We're going to a basketball game. They're the same that I got the other day. In that one, can we add some whey protein? At work, just doing some things. Thought I would time lapse it so you guys can see that your girl does sit down and literally works for hours and hours a day. It's boring content, but it's real.
currently cleaning the house because Steve and I have just kind of been doing bits and pieces for the past two weeks. Like I've been here two weeks now. The 14th I got here, it is now the 2nd of March. So well over two weeks. I am making sure that everything has a home and putting everything away. That's the plan for today. Well, this morning. I've just been putting music on on the Sonos, literally just pumping beats, getting some shit done. I'm about to tackle upstairs, which is actually a hellhole. Like genuinely, there is so many clothes up there that I haven't put away or that I don't have room for. So it's going to be a mess, but I'm just gonna put music on. I'm just gonna get through it because I have to. All right, let's go tackle upstairs. I'm gonna film it so you guys can see. Definitely chuck it on time-lapse Darby because no one wants to be hanging around for that long watching me clean clothes. As you can tell, I've actually done quite a bit. It's 12. So I'm gonna finish up literally just what I have here. And then I'm going to go into the office, do some work. I have a meeting at one. I need to run some errands and then I'll come back, finish putting all my stuff with the coat hangers. This house will be like somewhat organized. Guys, I'm literally almost done. Much cleaner, as you can see. I literally just have a box of shoes. I need to grab another little shoe stand. Need to grab some drawers for my Gymshark clothes. It's literally those two boxes on the right there are my, the only Gymshark clothes I have. I did like a full clean out because obviously it moved. <sighs> okay. Hang up. Put away. Well, actually, give away. Actually, I'll. You know what? I'm gonna take these downstairs right now. Okay. Done. Finito. I will see you guys when I am dressed and on my way to the gym. Back in the office. Now I am. This is, oh, this is a bad, bad lighting there. I know. I got a Mexican bowl for lunch. Is that we? Want, is we that a Mexican down? salad? Do you want Tanner to come down and do a vlog? He, he sent me a Skype link. Hi guys, we're finding a videographer. He sent me like a, a link that you want to set up for Hi guys. <laughs> this is my swing. I literally asked Steve to get me a 32 ounce today and he got me 44 ounces. You know what, actually? I'm gonna put it in my Stanley mug because it keeps everything so much colder. So, I took the car to get washed. I am just about to take the G-Wagon to get a wash, so come with me. Oh my gosh, I've actually never been through a car wash place like this. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I've just put the car in there. <laughs> oh. I've literally never done one of these in my life. It's okay, calm, relax. How do I do? You're kidding. How do I put this on like car wash mode? Looking spick and span. We love that. Um, and I went to the bookshop. So I'm gonna show you what I get from the bookshop because I spent like $110. I know that the conversion rate and everything still needs to be taken into account, but $110 for the amount of books that I bought is actually so good. Anyway, put that to the side. So firstly, I had a package come this morning from Gymshark. Hot pink, I think this was a Valentine's Day thing, but I just got it late. Um, hot pink hat and this really cool hot pink tee. Honestly, I can't wear too much pink, but when I do wear pink, it's gonna be all out. All right, first book, somebody else's shoes. Someone else's shoes. TikTok recommendation. I literally saw a girl that read 16 books in February and February is a short month. 
Like, I genuinely do not understand how someone can read 16 books in 28 days. It blows my mind. Second is, and I'm actually really annoyed that I didn't get the whole series of these, Twisted Love. I can't remember what the second one is, but this is the first book of a four book series. And then Twisted Hate is the third book. And then Twisted Lies is the fourth book. Apparently, from what I heard, this is another TikTok recommendation, is that character development in this is just insane and it hooks people in. So I've got those three. I have to buy the second because I literally have four, three of the four full books. Next one is The Silent Patient. This was highly requested by my sister-in-law. It's meant to be amazing. It's got great reviews. It's got a 4.3 on Goodreads. When I'm in the library or when I'm in the bookstore, the way that I tell if a book is a good read or worth a read, it has to have over a rating of four on Goodreads. It is literally the perfect app to know whether something is worth reading or not. Daisy Jones and the Six, this is also meant to be amazing. Pretty sure um, this is the same writer as the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I loved that book, so I'm really excited for this one. And then the last one, which I, again, another TikTok recommendation. Literally, all of these were a recommendation in that girl's TikTok where she said, I read 16 books, these are my ratings. So if you're not on BookTok already, get onto it because seriously, it gives the best best thing. So this one actually got the National Book Award. It's a finalist in the National Book Award, but it's called A Little Life. It's meant to be incredible, like heartbreakingly incredible. Anyway, that is my little haul. That literally cost me like $110. I cannot believe it. But that is going into our little library. We've got quite a few books now for our little library, which I'm super excited about. When Steve and I either buy a house together here in St. George or um, somewhere else that we're looking at. The deal was is that Steve wants a simulator. This is such, I feel like such a like prissy person. Like Steve wants the golf simulator. I want a library though. I want just somewhere in our house where I can have a library full of books and it doesn't need to be a big library. It could be a small one, but a space for my books and a little reading nook in which I can sit and just relax which is exactly what I'm about to do right now. I've had my work meeting. I've had a busy day. I cleaned this morning. I only just got food. We cleaned out the G. Everything's just kind of been go, go, go. And I've just gotten home 5 p.m. I'm gonna just relax, read the rest of my book. I'm currently reading. And then wait for Sheev to get home because we have dinner tonight with friends. My battery's running out, so I'm going to go for now and I'll see you guys when we're getting ready. Good morning. It's Friday. Today is going to be a work day. Then a little bit of play at the end. We're gonna hang out with some friends tomorrow night. We've actually been catching up with so many people lately. Just obviously given that I haven't seen everyone in like three years. But I also just realized we are five days into the vlog and I've been taking no B-roll. So I need to get better at vlogging because all I do is sit down and talk with you guys. So I'm gonna make the bed and then I'm gonna make breakfast and I'm gonna show you guys how I film my TikTok making breakfast if my battery doesn't die because it is on its last limbs. I'll get up just cause I'm scared love's just a drug I'm probably the victim too. Alright, time to film the TikTok dog. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys what I have for breakfast every morning. It's my go-to, I'm absolutely obsessed. It tastes delicious, and yeah, let's go. If you don't tip your toast while it's cooling off, you love soggy toast. Good morning, it is Sunday, we are out on a walk. I am going to end the vlog here because my <laughs> camera's run out of battery. So everything's just kind of gone a little bit haywire. I need to find an Australian and American adapter because I can't find it anywhere. I feel like I'm gonna have to make a trip to Walmart and I need to get things ready so that I can charge everything because right now, the only thing I'm able to charge are my Apple products because I went to the Apple store and actually bought one of the American adapter parts. So I need to go get a couple of Australian and American adapt adapt adapters. 
I literally have four batteries on my camera and every single one of them was used up because of how many time lapses I did on this vlog. But I wanted to say thank you for tuning in for another vlog. I love you guys. I will be back next week, well tomorrow, and we can start fresh. Hopefully with some good, solid, charged up batteries. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.